If you're in the service sector and find that you're struggling to fill open positions, you are not alone. Despite an unemployment rate pushing 6%, employers say this hot job market is making it increasingly difficult to lure in good candidates and keep them long term. This struggle is causing businesses across the country to get creative. Some are paying for employees to go to college. Others are going even further and offering to give the scholarships to employees' spouses and their children. On a smaller scale, one restaurant chain has decided to give free appetizers to anyone who schedules an interview. Some hotels are offering workers a free night in the property of their choice so employees can take some time off or are even giving employees a room to live in over the summer to help staff up for the busy tourist season. Now, more traditional options include hiring bonuses, referral bonuses for current employees who help bring talent in the door, strong PTO options to help people make the most of their time off, and remote friendly options where possible. Now, speaking of incentives, how about joints for jabs? Legal cannabis retailers in Washington state that offer in-store COVID-19 vaccination clinics can now legally give adults a joint as a reward for getting their shot. The program is affected now through July 12th. Now, Washington is not alone. Stores in Arizona have been giving out pre-roll joints and edible cannabis gummies to anyone over the age of 21 who gets vaccinated. They call their plan Snacks for Vax. Maybe some Amazon employees will take advantage of the program now that the company is coming out publicly in support of legalizing marijuana on the federal level. In line with that stance, the company has announced it will no longer include marijuana in its pre-employment drug tests. The plan is to now treat marijuana just like alcohol. In other words, use it if you want, as long as you're not using while on the job. It's important to note that these relaxed rules do not apply to those in roles that are regulated by the Department of Transportation. That means all those thousands of Amazon drivers will continue to be tested for impairment while on the job and after any incident. Last week, we told you about the EEOC's updated guidance that confirmed employers can require employees to get a COVID-19 vaccine before returning to the workplace. The administration of Houston Methodist is now in a very public battle with some of its staff over that issue. The medical center demanded its 26,000 employees get the vaccine. They had until June 7th to get the shot or face termination. Since the vaccine is still not officially approved, it's only being used under an emergency use authorization. Several unvaccinated workers claim they're being forced to be human guinea pigs. More than 100 employees refused the shot. They were put on a two-week suspension and then fired. Now they're suing the hospital. Several even testified at the Texas State Capitol this week as the legislature considers banning employers from mandating the vaccine. And we'll keep watching all these changes for you. Check out ebiinc.com for more screening information. And we'll see you back here next week. Take care, everybody.